see you, Vegeta. You have no idea how much I've looked forward to this. The day when I would get to wipe that smug little smirk off your face forever. You should have never defied Lord Frieza. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> my, my scout is going haywire. <laughs> Impossible! Your power level was never anywhere near mine! Idiot! Do you really believe that you can keep up with my experience in battle? I'm constantly fighting on the front lines! I've been to the brink of death and back again! Meanwhile, you've been hiding behind the shield of Frieza, growing soft! Alright, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Malachi coming at you with another lesson. But first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. And in the ancient Hebrew tongue, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His begotten Son, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, I want to give a shalom to the men, women, and children waiting patiently on the return of our Savior, Yahweh Shai. And in doing so, they've been practicing and being in the spirit of love, joy, being a peacemaker, and having charity. Um, this lesson I want to go into, it's going to be a quick hit. Um, Lord's willing, it's edifying, but it, I want to go into. Um, us now understanding how to worship and be in the spirit okay once again you know in my last video um i i i, I believe i mentioned something along the lines of we're, we're once again we're practicing and we're putting on as the elect and in doing so um you can't say you're you, you know you're about yahweh shai's work if you're not in the spirit it doesn't work that way um, so let's get into it. This is John chapter 4, verse, sorry, verse 23. It says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh, Salakit, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. So, how about Shimei was shy? The the hour has now come. The time has now come for us to worship the Father in the Spirit. Okay, well, what's the Spirit? We'll get into that in a second. This verse twenty four says, "Yahweh is a Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in Spirit and in truth." So if Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai is a Spirit, we have to worship Him in the Spirit. What's the Spirit? Let's go to it. This is Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. This is why Yahweh Shai was so famous and why everyone loved being around him. Okay? Because... He has so much power, okay, but he can control himself in the sense of he was actually, um, he was like, he was like the Jake you wanted to be around. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ever notice, um, in the music industry, I, I'll give you an example. Um, when I did music back in the day, um, we would do things like meet and greets and they do it now. But, um, I, at, at, you know, I wasn't signed to a major label. So I'm like, you know, how can I have meet and greets? These guys are doing meet and greets at, you know. Uh, you know, foot lockers and this and that. So I'm like, you know, what, what can I do? So what I would do is um, I would call like the local like Chipotle or like the uh, Cold Stone Creameries, you know, the um, ice cream shops and this and that. What I would do was get, I, you know, have musicians or whatever, get like a guitarist or something and just have like an acoustic session to basically um, show the people that I'm kind of like an everyday guy, you know, so to speak. So build that public relations, so to speak. So what I'm getting at was Yahweh Shai was so, um, the people loved him because he came in the spirit. He was a spirit. It was a spirit of being gentle, loving, okay? He showed temperance, okay? A lot of people around him, yeah, they may envy him, but the thing, how he converted a lot of people was because he still didn't, uh, he can see that they may have not liked him, but he was still showing temperance unto them to the point where they were like, yeah, he's not that bad. A lot of Jake's, once again, a lot of Jake's in this world and in previous, you know, uh, captivities have this thing where we haven't been loved, so to speak. So we have this chip on our shoulder. And also that's why the scriptures say that the, uh, you know, the earth 
uh, the love of many shall wax cold, you know, in the end times. Well, Yahweh Shai, if he was here, he would be showing them actual love. He would show them gentleness. He would show them meekness. That's why charity, which is goes to the word agape, which is love, it goes back into uh, being, that's the bond of perfectness, okay? Showing love is how you build. That's how you build. If I'm, if I'm, you know, when I, how you start a family, you know, you get a, you know, if you want your family to stay intact, you got to love your family, loving your family. How do you love? Well, you're going to have some days where, you know, it may be rough, you know, the, the, the kids may be acting up or, you know, you and your wife may be in disagreements, but you still have to show that love. You still have to show that, that gentleness, be meek. You have to have a temper, you know, show temperance in the sense of not going there with your spouse or your children, you know? That shows love. That shows them that you can deal with um, situations. Yahweh Shai was the same way. He knew our people had demons on them. Had you know they were you know um, um, contrary to to the, to themselves, but he still was gentle and he still was meek. So what I'm getting at is, we have to uh, uh, you know when we worship in the spirit, we have to make sure that we have that spirit on us. You know what I mean? Um, I read it again, John chapter four, verse 23, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him. The father has been waiting for this moment. He's been waiting for us to now model ourselves after Yahweh in the sense of, um, being those representations of him, you know, on the planet. Okay. Our people, you know, you, you got people not even under, uh, you know, in the understanding of the RFID chip, you know, of, of not taking the vaccine. OK, now what happens when, you know, Jacob's trouble hits and we don't take the vaccine? Where do we go from there? You know, uh, uh, and I'm talking about you brothers who, you know, uh, may have sheep. You, what's going to happen? They're going to look at you and say, we didn't take the chip. What, what, what happens? Now you're going to have a lot of people around you who you got to be gentle to, who you got to be meek to. You got it. This is why this time of grace, you know, you want to clean yourself up because the elect during these times are going to be many Yahweh shy. OK, that's what it, that's what this is about. Um, first John. First John one and verse six, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. And do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, his son, cleanses us from all sins. So we can't sit up here and say, you know, we want to, we, you know, we have, once again, the actually, I'm going to get into it. If we have any of the fruits of the flesh on us, when we, you know, not even when we're preaching, but if we have that in us, you know, uh, in our daily lives, then we have to clean ourselves up. We can't say that, you know, we 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 are of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I'm not saying that, you know, exit yourself out. No, I'm saying we have to be circumspect in these things because we want to have, once again, a good report with our Lord, you know. But I'm going back in Galatians chapter 5 because Galatians 5 and 22 gives us the fruit of the Spirit. But chapter, or verse 5, or Salaki, like chapter 5, verse... 19 gives us the fruit of the flesh. It says, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I've also told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. If you have the spirit of, if, if you have any of those uh, spirits on you of the flesh, you're not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's what this grace period was about. We got to come back to our power and be like Yahweh Shai. We have to model ourselves after him. If we don't model ourselves after him, then we're doing this for nothing. This is, this is in vain. Uh, back in first John three and 18, it says, my little children, let us not love and word, 
neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So once again, if you're going to be a, you, you, you know, you believe on your how about you, Shai, everything you're going to do is of, you, you're going to judge yourself how he was, okay? You're going to do things of the truth. You're not going to have, once again, these 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 spirits on you of, of, of the flesh, okay? I'm not saying that that's one day you're going to wake up and it's all gone. But every day, once again, there's an opportunity to, opportunity to grow and that's the key we can't love and read the words and say yeah that's what he wanted yeah he wanted us to love each other we do love each other who who who, who are you loving the scriptures also tells you if you love your brother only brethren only what good are you if you're saluting your brother brethren only what good are you you're not showing an example to the whole nation that's what this is about You've been called unto mercy to give your life up to be an example of, guess what? I'm in the flesh just like you, and we can do this, man. We can we can do this. How Yahabashai gave us that pattern, 1 Timothy, I think it was 1 or 2, um, in the, one, uh, the first or second chapter, it tells you that Yahabashai, he, he, he sent that pattern of himself whereby we can get a, and obtain, the glo obtain glory when he returns. We want to have the testimony of this long-suffering. Now, it's not even people in the world that's modeling themselves in a good standard, you know? No one's in a good, uh, uh, try, no one's trying to um, speak life into anything anymore. What's life? Life is love. Life is understanding. Life is compassion. Life is, uh, once again, um, laying your life down for another. Life is treating someone like you want to be treated. So when we worship in the spirit and when we're, when we're uh, considering, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, we want to make sure that we're of the spirit, okay? I'm going to end it here. Um, John. Chapter 18. Verse 37. It says, Pilate therefore said unto him, Are thou a king then? Yahweh Shai answered, Thou sayest that I'm a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai was sent. And once again, he was the truth. He was showing us, everyone on this planet, that we, it's hard in the flesh, but we can overcome darkness with being of the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, meekness, gentleness, temperance. Against such, there is no law because you're now abiding in the truth. You're now giving your life up. Everything who, you know, all your emotions, all your, um, you know, what your mind tells you should happen. You're giving that all up for you. How about you? You're showing the ultimate faith. When people come against you, you're now in the spirit. You're, 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 you're showing you. How about you? That, that faith. This is why he was sent. And I'm going to end it there. I, 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 tr I pray that this lesson was edifying. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kadash. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Wa Abad Babal. This is your brother Malachi signing off. Shalom, Yashrallah.